the best types of college degrees in 2023 tier list. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be going over the different types of college degrees at every single level, associates, bachelors, masters, as well as doctorates and professional degrees. And I'm also going to be ranking the different types of degrees like health, mathematics, science, engineering, and business, etc. So you're definitely not going to want to miss this one because the different types of degrees are good at different types of levels. So if you appreciate this type of video, let me know by electrocuting that like button to death like Pikachu and let's jump right into it. All right, so first one on the list is going to be engineering bachelor degrees, right? So just to clarify here, these are engineering type degrees at the bachelor's level. And one thing I'm changing about this year's list is I'm gonna be including the demand at the entry level, right? So there's a lot of degrees out there that will lead to careers that have a lot of demand, but there's not necessarily very much demand at the entry level. And the truth is most people that watch this channel are in high school or college. And so you probably care about the demand at the entry level because once you've gotten a few years of experience, you're typically good to go. All right, so if you type in engineering as a keyword on Glassdoor, they're gonna show the average salary of $89,000 per year. And if you type in engineering as a keyword, sort by jobs and then entry level jobs on LinkedIn, you're gonna see about 733,000 results, right? So both of those are very good. Engineering degrees at the bachelor's level go into S tier. Next on the list is going to be engineering degrees at the master's level. Now, the truth is 95% of people watching this are not going to need to get a graduate level degree. But with that being said, if you are gonna get a graduate level degree, engineering is gonna be one of the better choices. So I'm gonna go ahead and put engineering degrees at the master's level into A tier. But just keep in mind that you probably can get most jobs out there with just a bachelor's level degree. So make sure you do your research and make sure that you have to get a master's or you're doing it for a different reason, right? You're doing it for the knowledge itself. You're not doing it because it's a good return on investment. Next one on the list is going to be engineering degrees at the doctoral level. So this is just totally unnecessary most of the time. But with that being said, again, if you're gonna get a doctorate, engineering degrees are probably one of the better ones. So this one goes into B tier. And finally, engineering at the associate level. Engineering at the associate level is actually pretty good. There's a lot of like technician type jobs out there that do require an associate level degree, or at the very least, they really like if you have it. So engineering at the associate level is going into A tier. Next on the list is going to be math-related bachelor degrees. So this would be something like mathematics or statistics. And if you type in mathematician on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $93,000 a year. If you type in mathematician at the entry level on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 23,000 results. So overall, getting a math degree at the bachelor's level is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into A tier. Next is math at the master's level. Now, this one is, again, unnecessary in many cases, but there are a lot of jobs out there that do require a master's degree. And so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put math at the master's level into B tier. Then math at the doctoral level. Again, this is one that only applies to probably 1% of people out there. But with that being said, it's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into C tier. And finally, math at the associate level. There are some jobs out there where they really do like to see that you have some math skills at the associate level. So this one is gonna go into B tier. Next on the list is going to be technology degrees at the bachelor's level. So this one would be computer science, for instance. Uh, computer science is a phenomenal degree, probably the best degree, period. So if you become a technology manager, for instance, you can make like $146,000 a year. If you type in the keyword technology on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 1.1 million results. So technology at the bachelor's level is going to go into S tier. Next on the list is technology at the associate level. Now, this is also really good. There's a lot of technology careers out there, like technician type careers that don't require a bachelor's degree, or at the very least, it really does help if you have an associate's degree. So this is also going to go into S tier. Next on the list is technology at the master's level. So again, unnecessary for like 95% of people out there, but there are some jobs, for instance, data scientist, where having a master's degree is going to help you. So technology at the master's level is going to go into A tier. And finally, technology at the doctoral level. If you're gonna go into a job that is incredibly big brain, something like machine learning or AI, something along those lines where you truly are on the cutting edge, sometimes, again, maybe like 1% of the time, doctorate degrees might be worth it for you. But overall, for most people, it's not gonna be worth it. But with that being said, if you are gonna get a doctorate, this would be one of the better ones to do that in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. 
Next one on the list is going to be alternative education, and this is technically not a degree. So the reason that alternative education has gotten so popular in the last 10 years or so is because of the fact that the value of a college degree has continued to go down since the 1970s, and the cost of a college degree has gone up exponentially. So it was bound to hit a tipping point at some point, and many of the degrees out there are no longer worth it from a return on investment standpoint. And I have talked about why this is extensively on my channel over the years. So about 10 years ago or so, there were a bunch of different alternative education opportunities that started popping up. And this started off in technology. So for instance, there were a lot of certifications that started popping up for careers like IT, and there were a lot of boot camps that started popping up for careers like web developer. Now, alternative education, of course, is not gonna be perfect for all careers. There's many careers out there where you do still have to get a degree, but for the right person in the right situation in the right career, there are many opportunities out there that are actually much better than college, in my opinion. So for instance, one of the companies that I work with that I'm a huge fan of is Course Careers. And I've done a bunch of interviews on this channel with people who have gone through Course Careers. One of the most common ones they do is Tech Sales. Tech Sales is a phenomenal career career and you absolutely do not need a college degree or any previous experience to get into it. I have interviewed countless people that have gotten into tech sales. They typically make like 60 to $80,000 per year their first year and a year or two in they typically make it to the $100,000 a year mark. Now if you are interested in tech sales I do have a free training that you can check out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you're interested in using their more advanced services what they'll do is they will give you advanced training. They'll put you in a community of people who are all also trying to break into their first tech sales career. And on top of that, they get you guaranteed interviews with their partner companies. And if you're interested, I do have a $50 off coupon. I'll put it down below in the description as well as the pinned comment. That is Shane50. So alternative education goes into S tier. Honestly, it's, it's really, really good for the right types of careers. And honestly, it's probably more like S plus tier. There is a list of about 12 to 15 careers or so that you can do this in, which I've made videos about. So yeah, definitely phenomenal. Next one on the list is going to be a business degree at the bachelor's level. So if you became a business manager, for instance, you'd expect to make about $98,000 a year. And if you type in business management on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 371,000 results. Now I will say some business degrees are better than others. Make sure you really research this one. And then another thing about business degrees is it really depends on what your goal is. So if your goal is to start a business, I really don't think business degrees are gonna help you all that much. But with that being said, some of the business degrees do have phenomenal statistics when you look up the numbers. You can question here whether it's correlation or causation, like people who are interested in business tend to get business degrees, and those are the types of people that would have been successful anyways because they tend to be good with money. But overall, I'm gonna put business degrees at the bachelor's level into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be business degrees at the associate level. So these tend to be actually pretty good as well. Overall, I'm gonna put them into A tier. Next is business degrees at the master's level, and this can be pretty hit or miss. There are a lot of MBA degrees out there, for instance, that I think are basically worthless. It's just a total waste of time that's gonna cost you a lot of money, but there's also MBA degrees out there that can open doors for you. So overall, I'm gonna put business degrees at the master's level into B tier. And again, when it comes to master's degrees, this is not gonna apply to 95% of people. 95% of people do not need to get a master's. And then I'd say like 98, 99% of people don't need to get a doctorate. Speaking of doctors, business doctorate is next and this one I just I really don't see the need for it of course there's a few exceptions here and there but overall business doctorate is going to go into D tier next one on the list is going to be science degrees at the bachelor level so this is a tough one because science degrees honestly some of them are just not good for instance biology degrees very very overrated for the amount of people who graduate with them every year but if you type in scientist on Glassdoor, you're going to see hundred and seven thousand dollars a year and if you type in the keyword science on linkedin at the entry level you are going to see six hundred and seventeen thousand results so science is very valuable a lot of the time at the bachelor's level you're not able to get a job so really make sure you plan this one out. But with that being said, I'll put science degrees into B tier. And actually masters also go into B tier and doctorates go into B tier as well. Yes, science! Next one on the list is going to be liberal arts degrees at the associate level. So one career path you might go down here is becoming a graphic designer. They make about $45,000 a year. You also might get into web designing, specifically the artistic side of it. And you know, there's about 37,000 results at the entry level there. 
But I'm not going to lie to you, liberal arts degrees in general are just not very good, and especially at the associate level, not very good when you look at the numbers. This one goes into F tier. Next on the list is liberal arts related bachelor's degree. Now, these are a little bit better than the associate degrees, but still, I'm going to go ahead and put it into D tier. And then next on the list is liberal arts related master's degrees. This one is also going into D tier. And liberal arts related doctoral degrees, this one goes into D tier. Next on the list is going to be an art related associates degree. So if you became an artist, they make about $46,000 a year on average. And if you type in artist on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see about 28,000 results. So art and college, in my opinion, just do not mix. College is one of the least creative places in the entire world. College is old, stuck in the mud, antiquated. They're not creative at all. Things like art, for instance, change over time, right? There's sort of like a meta for art. Same thing with marketing, for instance. Marketing is probably one of the most obvious examples of how incompetent college is at staying up with the times. So for instance, the two most valuable skills that you can learn in marketing, in my opinion, are digital marketing and copywriting. And if you look at most marketing curriculums, you're not going to see very many digital marketing or copywriting classes. Typically, there's like maybe one or two. And by the time they finally start going over those classes, they're five or 10 years behind. And the same thing goes with art. But with that being said, if you are gonna get an art related degree, I would say an associate level degree is gonna be the best. So I'll go ahead and put art related associate degrees into C tier. Next on the list is art related bachelor degrees. Don't recommend for 99% of people. This one goes into F tier. Next is art related master's degrees. Again, 99% of people probably not good for it. This one is slightly better, I'd say. So this one goes into D tier. And then finally, art related doctoral degrees, unless you're like a world class pianist or a world class classical guitarist or something along those lines, and then you get an opportunity to go to Juilliard, it's not gonna be a good idea. Again, for 99% of people, but with that being said, probably a little bit better than the bachelor degree. I'll put this in D tier. Next on the list is going to be a health related bachelor's degree. So health degrees are amazing at pretty much every single level. At the bachelor's degree, a really good one, for instance, would be a BSN. That's a bachelor's of science in nursing. Or you might go into health administration, for instance. You know, health administration on LinkedIn at the entry level shows about 46,000 results. And if you type in health administrator on Glassdoor, you're going to see $55,000 a year. And like I said, health is pretty much good at every single level, whether it's associates, uh, certificates, bachelor's master's doctorate so health bachelors goes into s tier health masters also goes into s tier health associates goes into s tier and when i say associates i also mean the random little certification programs that typically take somewhere between six months to three years and then health doctorate also goes into s tier Next, we're gonna talk about master's level professional degrees. And this does actually kind of intersect with the health degrees because typically the professional degrees are health degrees, at least most of them are. And professional degrees mean that by definition, you have to get the degree in order to get into the profession. So that creates what's known as a barrier to entry. And that's good if you have the degree already, it's not so good if you need to get the degree. But it sort of creates like a moat around the castle, so to speak, so it's harder for other people to get into it. Whereas there is a lot of technology technology and business related careers where you can get into it without a degree. Now, that being said, master's level professional degrees are going to go into S tier. Typically, these are very good things like physician associate or nurse practitioner. And then doctoral level professional degrees are going to go into A tier. Some of the doctoral level professional degrees are not as good. Some of them can still be really good though. Before you go, definitely check out that interview that I mentioned before with Della, who is a stay at home mom who is going to college and ended up getting into her dream company in a position making over $100,000 a year and a month and a half.